Hi, I'm Allison Hooper from Vermont Butter and Cheese Creamery and welcome to my farm kitchen. Today we're going to make a vegetable lasagna with creamy goat cheese. This is a wonderful soft spreadable cheese made by Vermont Butter and Cheese Creamery and perfect for this summer lasagna. The first thing we're going to do is prepare the goat cheese mixture. Um, this goat cheese actually was inspired by a chef who was making this very recipe with a vegetable lasagna. What he wanted was a cheese that was nice and soft and creamy that he could blend other ingredients. You'll see how easy it is to blend with the vegetables. Now we're going to add some basil. Season with a little pepper, salt. You can see how well this basil blends with the goat cheese. So now we're going to chop the vegetables before we add them to the pan to saute and then assemble the lasagna. I'm going to just start the fire, add a little bit of olive oil. So the creamy goat cheese is a cheese that is much more spreadable and softer than the goat cheese log that you normally see in all the stores. Because it's very fresh and there's a lot of moisture in it, it's really um, a wonderful cheese to, if you want to try goat cheese and never tried it before and are thinking, hmm, I'm not sure I would like a product made with goat's milk, this is the one you want to try. And remember, the vegetables are going to continue to cook in the lasagna when we put it in the oven, so we don't have to be too crazy about making sure that um, they're cooked, that eggplant is cooked through. So, we've sauteed our vegetables, we're ready to assemble the lasagna. First thing is pour a little bit of your marinara sauce, just enough to cover the bottom of the pan so that it doesn't stick. I like to use these no-boil noodles because they're easy and no, no fuss, no pans to clean, and they work great. They'll absorb extra uh, moisture, and they're fragile. So as you're spreading your goat cheese on here, just be careful that you don't break them. Now we're going to spoon some vegetables on here. And you're just going to want to keep your eye out so that you use them all up and you have enough to get you through. Marinara sauce. And you know, it doesn't have to be that perfect because once it's all in the oven, it's all going to blend together and bubble up and distribute itself. Perfect. Okay. And we'll put the foil on loosely. And we cook. Here we go. Cooked. Beautiful. Now we're going to add the mozzarella cheese. We're going to use a nice, fresh, local mozzarella. And I like to use these slices because they look really pretty and really get that nice bubbled up cheese on top. So I've got all ready to go back in the oven under the broiler for about 10 minutes, although keep your eye on it because everybody's oven is different. We don't want to burn the mozzarella, but we just want it to be nicely melted and kind of bubbly. Ta-da! Perfect. Lovely vegetable lasagna with creamy goat cheese and local mozzarella melted on top. Perfect. Thank you for joining me today for this recipe and visit us at Vermont Butter and Cheese Creamery in Websterville or online at vermontcreamery.com.